Alright, what's up guys? I'm Matt here and dropped off the in-laws. So we're at the car company now and getting the uh, SUV rental. Uh, my favorite car company is called Evetch. I'll show you here. Right there. Evetch, that's my favorite. Uh, we've been through four or five companies and they're by far the uh, greatest. They do well with custom service. So they've been a superstar. Uh, one tip trick I'll give you is find the price on Kayak and then ping them on WhatsApp. I'll put the WhatsApp number in the description. So for example, the car that we wanted was um, 30, uh, 34, 35 bucks a day. And I was able to get it for 28 bucks a day uh, through the same company, same reservation, same everything. So, you know, pretty good, pretty good deal, especially when we got it for 12 days. So it does add up after a while. Um, so they're watching the car now. They always give you the car, you know, like it's dipped in baby oil, like it's you know almost brand new. And the other thing I like about these guys, they'll always give it to you with a full tank, where most companies don't do that. They literally give you a full tank of gas. So I do appreciate that. So waiting for them to do the paperwork, finish the car wash down there, then go from there. Let me show you what other cars they have here. They, they have a uh, Q3, Peugeot 2008, Audi, and then they have a lot more cars over there in the back. They have a Lexus, I've seen. Um, Lexus, um, Volkswagen, um, Nissan, Qashqai, Audi A3. Uh, you can see the cars down there as well. So the bl blue one is the one that he's watching for us. And the right, below, right front of that, as you see, that's an Audi Q3 as well. So they have a, they have a really good car uh, collection. So let me go in, finish the paperwork, drop off the other beast, the other beast, um, the nine seater, tired of driving that crap, and then drive a regular car. All right, so we got the car. I'm gonna drive the old one back, come back with airport service. Old mega bus tool, ready to give this thing up. Not the best thing to drive. There's definitely no fun about driving this. Nine seater, but we returned to this brand, which is not in the US, it's called Sakoda. So far, so far, seems like a smooth ride. SUV for 20, I think 28 bucks a day. K-A-N-U-K. Skoda is the brand. All right, so let's go return the bus and come back and pick this up. All right, guys, so back at the house i wanted to do a, a review a short review of the um, other car company which is called first rent a car antalya they have a 4.8 review on google which i don't know how it's a new company you can tell i'm telling you it's the worst car rental company i have ever had hands down first thing it's a resi residential property it's literally somebody's house that you're walking into to rent a car they have a, a freaking big dog in the front they have a chicken farm that they have right next to it i mean it's like extremely unprofessional in my opinion uh, you got kids running around the, the family lives there there's a family that lives there you got kids running around when i dropped the car off there was a heavy food smell you know that would they were uh, cooking um, some, some curry chicken you literally smell it right you open the door like it's literally somebody's house it's and it's, it's literally a residential property Things that you know really bothered me is when we rented the car the first day, the, the van they gave us, the tires were worn out so bad that we had a flat tire within 24 hours. So for me, here's a company that put my family at danger by not doing their job by replacing the tire. And then when the tire, we finally got, we had to call somebody to come replace the tire for us because we couldn't even unscrew the bolt underneath the bus. You know, pay those guys, went to this went to the rent, car rental company or around 8 8 30 at night and the dude's like we don't re, we don't exchange rentals after eight o'clock i'm like but it says 24 hours to google maps it says 24 hours on your receipt it's like i don't care in turkey that doesn't matter 24 hours doesn't mean anything i'm not replacing it so i literally had to get extremely aggressive say if you're not we're going to replace it 
back and forth. I'm gonna have to call the authorities, get a police report and take you to court. Like it took that extreme of a conversation for him to finally say, fine, I'll replace it. Just get out of here. Like, come on, really? And that van, I filled up the tank, spent 1600 liras on it, uh, which is a little over hundred bucks. And the knee van they gave me was completely empty. And they refused to fill that up or give me money for the hundred bucks that I spent on gas. Once again, just crazy situation. I had apparently gotten a ticket through the camera system. Hey, fine, no problem, I'll pay for it. It's 400 liras. Well, you have to pay for it with the cash. If you pay for, if you pay for it with a credit card, we have to charge you 18% interest or fee. I'm like, really? Like what car company charges 18% fee? Like, come on guys. Like they literally, I had literally just pay him cash, just be done with it. The cars are not cleaned, extremely dirty, unsafe cars. They might be a few bucks cheaper, but I promise you, you're better off. Just go to somebody else. I recommend Avech, which I showed you just a few minutes ago. And they are on top of it. Uh, this is the car I'm in right now. I'll show it to you here in a little bit, but worst car company ever. I don't recommend it at all. Just all around, you know, I want to say shady, but just not your, not your traditional practice of car rental companies. All right, now with that out the way, I want to show you Skoda. I have to tell you, I'm pretty impressed. Uh, I like it so far. Very smooth ride, really enjoyable. And the technology package in it is on point. One of the things that I really, really like, let me turn around and show it to you. Here we go. One of the things that I really like is my phone is connected through Bluetooth. And this has uh, Android Auto. A lot of cars you have to connect through wire, like right here, but this one you don't. So you literally have all the Android Auto application built into the dash through Bluetooth, which is none of the cars have had that, including Audi. We had an Audi, we had two Audis, and both of them you had to connect through hard wire down here. So that's a plus. Uh, the screen is bit this way, which is kind of weird. I've usually seen it kind of you know, more towards the driver, but it's very smooth ride, you know, very clean car. They even got a little hook right here. You can put your phone right here and then, you know, and um, uh, be a safe driver, but very, very nice car, very smooth. This is for about 28 bucks a day. And the thing that I like about Avech is a perfect example. They give you five bottles of water and they give you, they give you a kit. It's got a mask, sanitizer, uh, and I think maybe one more thing. But they literally give that to you for every passenger, every time. And full taking gas. You know, just common sense. So that's the review, guys, on the crappy car rental company that I told you about. Uh, our new ride. This is the ride that we're going to take to Istanbul. So we're doing a one-way trip to Istanbul. Um, and then, you know, and, not, and that's not very common in Turkey. It's starting you know, become more popular. Uh, the fee for that one, since it's a one-way, it's a thousand lira. So it's, you know, about 60, 70 bucks fee to be able to drop the car off at the Istanbul airport when we're leaving from uh, Antalya. So we got a journey coming your way through the road trip. So we'll see how that goes. And now looks like we're off to the zoo. So let me go get the kids. Let's go to the zoo, see what kind of fun we have. All right, see you in a little bit.